Hey, welcome to the Japanese list. I'm Naoto. One of the things which typifies Japanese castles, stone wall, which we call Ishigaki. Well, in Japan, there are and used to be many, many castles, including the ruins. It is said there were 25,000 castles in Japan. Basically, we tend to associate with the main building when we talk about the Japanese castle, but don't forget, it's just a part of the entire castle's territories. Ishigaki itself appeared in the middle of the war period in Japan. Beforehand, instead of Ishigaki, the earthen wall was utilized. But the earthen wall has a difficulty in the stability, especially it could be damaged by rainfall so much. Meanwhile, Ishigaki appeared in Samurai World, and it was rapidly spread out nationwide in Japan. As it looks like, Ishigaki is more stable than earthen walls, but the only problem was the cost. It takes money and time. Anyway, Ishigaki plays a remarkably important role in defending the castle. Whereas the difference of Ishigaki doesn't stand out so much, there are clear differences among them. But let's make it simple. You just have to remember six types of it. So let's take a look one by one. The basic categories of Ishigaki can be simplified by two perspectives. One is how to process the stone, and the other is how to pile the stone up. At first, how the stones are processed. It's an important perspective when you enjoy Japanese castles. Uh, there are just three types, namely Nozurazumi, Uchikomi Hagi, and Kirikomi Hagi. By categorizing Ishigaki, let's pay attention to clever's of it. The first one is called Nozura. It's the oldest way of processing stones. Probably I should say the stones are not so processed by Nozura. In the way of Nozura, the stones remain relatively as they originally were in the nature. The clear advantage of Nozura is the cost, because it's not so processed. Nevertheless, some say Nozura is the strongest Ishigaki. The key point is clever in Nozura Zumi because it's not processed. This clevis is kind of double-edged sword. The strength is stability of it, because it can disperse the impact and tremor. In addition from the clevis, the water inside of Ishigaki can be uh, drained. But against the weakness of Nozura is, it would be much easier to climb up Ishigaki by hanging foot on the clevis. And one more disadvantage is it's very hard to uh, construct a high Ishigaki structure by Nozura art. So that's the Nozura. And the second one is called uh, Uchikomi Hagi, by which the stones are more processed. Uchikomi Hagi was commonly used after 1600 because it enabled to construct a steep gradient which makes it harder to climb up. But the crevice itself still remains to some extent, and that perhaps allows enemy to invade castles by climbing up. That's a bit problem. On the other hand, the way to reduce the crevice thoroughly is called Kirikomihagi. In the way of Kirikomihagi, uh, the processing is based on the plan how to combine stones. So you can see there are very few crevices on the wall, which makes it harder to climb up. But the problem of Kirikomihagi was basically cost. It cost so much in terms of money and time. So considering the cost and each advantage of the types of Ishigaki, sometimes several types of Ishigaki were utilized at the same time in castle. So far, I introduced the three ways of processing stones. But there remains one more perspective, how to pile these stones up. It's quite simple. There are two types, Nunozumi and Lanzumi. Nunozumi is very easy to find out, because you can obviously see the regular tree in piling up. It's basically piled up all horizontally, but its toughness is a bit weaker than Lanzumi. In the way of Lanzumi, there are almost no regular tree in piling up. You combine the many uh, different types, different shape, and different size of the stones, so it requires high skill. But instead, it's more stable than Nunozumi. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I will be grateful if you press the like button. You can and should subscribe my channel so that you can catch up all the episodes. Then you can become expert in Japanese culture. Thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimashita.